look, uh, look, it's J Mo, the very best reviews. Tell them none can contest me, don't stress the views. Weekly commentary on the shows you can stream from sports to shoes. Reviews, we the best in the city, it's J Mo, reviews. Now get in tune. It's J Mo, reviews. Now get in tune, get in tune, get in tune, get in tune, look. Just know that we locked in on a scale from Uno to DS, we stock 10. Leveling up weekly, make sure you don't miss yours. Entertaining conversations, come join the Discord from watching live with the fans, the cast giveaways, clocking hard hours. This here ain't minute made. We setting the tone so the standard is raised. The dopest content in the game, yeah, we changing the stains. Game more. Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the first reaction for Power Book 2 Ghost Episode 9. I want to give a special shout out to Civil Music for making that dope ass intro for the show. Thank you very much. And also, if you all are looking to, you know, check out some good music and maybe hit him up and work with him. You can check him out on Instagram at Civil Music Connect. Definitely go ahead, follow him, hit him up, make that happen. And uh, definitely he did a great job and I appreciate you for hitting me up. A lot of other people said they was going to come through. I don't know. They ain't coming through. But he came through with some dope content in a timely manner definitely worth looking at and he on some positive stuff as well on the instagram uh in touch with the lord and if loving the lord is wrong i don't want to be right so definitely hit this brother up civil music connect he did a great job i appreciate it and uh you know keep on with them bangers he actually hit me up with another song that I went on ahead and uh, copped. So I will be using that uh, in the future on Monday. So uh, I appreciate you, man. Good job. And uh, definitely uh, appreciate it. All right. So uh, let's get into the first reaction for this episode. Um, First off. I think this episode was better than the last episode to me, without a doubt. Um, and what made it better is it didn't have so much of the theatrics. Uh, and uh, they kept it simple, sweet, and it was good. Um, it had a, a couple scenes that, you know, maybe wasn't the best. But overall, it was one of the best episodes this season to me. Hold on, let me... All right. Also, I got the cash giveaway again. Put in hashtag J Moore Reviews and uh, get entered into that cash giveaway. Um, don't forget to put hashtag J Moore Reviews in the comments so that you are entered into the the ten dollar cash giveaway tonight. All right, I appreciate it. And I am about to give you my rating for this episode. Break it down. I know y'all ready for the most go. And of course, I don't like to beat around the bush and drag it on. So I'm going to get right into that and tell y'all what I liked about it and what would I rate this episode. All right. Look at that. Vera said, what's the most go? I like that. That's that's what I'm talking about. You ready? All right. Ha <laughs> when you see your father in hell. That was told. He should have said, I don't have to wait. He is already calling me in my dreams, bitch. I just didn't pick up yet. Call waiting, mother. <laughs> what up, Jimmy? Coming through with the super chat, man. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Every little bit of support is helpful and I definitely appreciate you coming through with the Super Chat. You say Chi-Town representing you watching episode 9 right now. That's why you need to come on through and be a member of the Discord, Jimmy. We already watched it. When we are in Discord every time at midnight Eastern time, we watch the episode live. 
And then the conversations after it is always good. Uh, everybody get a chance to say what's on their mind. They got their piece to say. And, you know, it's always good to talk with everybody and hear everybody's uh, thoughts and opinions. All right. Let's go ahead and break down what I would uh, do and rate this episode. So. Let's get it. Let me get the little the the banner up here first, the overlay score. And uh also, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and uh let's see. Hold on. Let me get a little spoon. Shout out to over 130 people watching in the first 5 minutes of the show. Definitely appreciate y'all for coming through. Definitely appreciate the support. Um now let me put up my score overlay. For those that's not familiar with how I rate my shows, I have it broken down into four categories. And the way I do the four categories is that I have each category a top score of 25. When each category has a 25, then it can add up to 100. You can round it, take the zero off, that can make it a 10. So... Either way, I think this is a good way to rate TV shows and movies. First one is visuals, cinematography, costumes, etc. I would give this episode, I mean, we did see the courtroom. We saw they had Yaz celebrating the birthday party in the window. And we saw Braden about to take her to the little cabin in the woods over here. Michael Myers, Jason Voorhees type uh, business. Uh, we saw, you know, Mecca's penthouse laid out. Everybody in power always dressed impeccably, uh, you know. So I would give the visuals and cinematography a 20, which is almost perfect. Okay, so I give that a 20. The storyline and plot for this episode was not bad. It wasn't a lot of sensationalist things going on. It was pretty believable for everything. The only problem that I did have is how the hell did they remove the whole damn wall and put in all these drop boxes and stuff? But I mean, hey, that's power, right? Gangster fantasy. But other than that, they didn't have too many things that made you stretch your imagination and have to you know, rationalize into saying, well, I guess this is a TV show. When you watch a TV show, you already know that. You want to watch it and believe in the show and suspend belief. So with that, this episode did have a lot of good things. Zeke, he's still looking like a goofball, but a lot of the things was looking good, although his draft chances wouldn't be bad hell. Most NBA players didn't come into the NBA until they was 23, like Jordan and all of those people of that era because they went to college three or four years. Nevertheless, um, I still think this episode was much better than the last, and so I would give this a 20 for this episode. And special effects makeup, um, it wasn't a lot of special effects makeup, um, you know, stuff going on with that um but it was pretty good how they had everything you know the set design and all that with how uh mecca t i mean uh lorenzo tore up that damn bedroom i told you he tore that damn bedroom up and uh a lot of other stuff going on um monet always looking good diana looking good effie was looking real good they say them pretty girls be the craziest and she had on that calvin klein damn she damn near about to get his damn uh wardrobe line uh fly off the shelves at the end boy she was wearing that damn uh you know them draws that brazier and uh them them draws she was wearing them things wasn't she anyway uh her hair Effie hair was looking whipped, boy, all episode. Uh, she had that curly, pretty girl hair. And, uh, you know, we saw also uh, Diana looking good as always. They always had the ladies looking good and everything. So I would give this episode uh, special effects, makeup, all of that good stuff, a 20. Entertaining, fun factor. We learned a lot about Mecca, a.k.a. Dante. Monet finally figured out maybe you should find out what this guy looked like. Duh. 
Um, we saw a couple other things like he, uh, not just a snitch, he, uh, you know what I'm saying, Hall of Fame level snitch. This dude know all kind of info. I don't know how the hell he know that Tariq killed Ghost, though. That was a stretch. But all the other stuff was pretty good. And I would give this a 20, which would give this a total score of a 80 or a 8.0. I can see it going up to an 8.5 at best because it was more entertaining to me than the last episode. So with that being said, I give it an 8 to an 8.5 for this episode. It was much better. We saw Braden as well. was His brother, oh, I wanted to, Adukin! His brother should have straight caught a damn elbow smash, elbow sandwich to the, to the grill. Running his damn mouth talking about he ready to snitch. How are you going to snitch when you having no dong? What the hell wrong with this dude, man? Um, and then Rashad Tate threw his own brother under the bus. Damn. So, I mean, this was a good episode. And an eight to an eight and a half is a good rating to me. Some people say, oh, it was a 10. It, not, it wasn't perfect. But it was very good. And the eight and a half is just one and a half points away from perfection. Just one and a half. I mean, that's a very good rating. And to be honest, a seven is a good rating. A lot of people say, you always give it a seven. That is a bad rate. A seven is good. But this was better. All right. Encouraging Warrior. Thanks. What's up, Trine? I appreciate you. Um, you said, how did Effie hook up with K? When that happened, that's a good point. Now, one thing I wanted to say when we was talking in Discord, and I forgot, why does everybody meet up at the exact same spot on the bridge where Ghost and Tommy would meet up? That's the best. That's the meet-up spot of New York. <laughs> but uh, Effie met up with Kane when they was planning that heist, remember? And Tariq kind of brought her to the table with Brayden, and that's when they kind of got... Uh, you know, uh, introduced with each other, and maybe, you know, they got a little more acquainted that way, so we'll see what's up with that, um, but that's where they kind of met up at in the last episode, um, that's why you don't let everybody meet your girls in real life, man, you gotta be careful who you allow to meet your ladies, fellas, they may have some other plans, either one of them may, um, AMK, Thank you, brother, with the support. You say you think Mecca is Steve Tampio informant. Oh, you thinking outside the box. I like that. Tampico. Tampico did have an informant. Angie got rid of his ass, didn't she? Tampico juice. Hold on. Let me get my agua over here ready. I had to buy some new lights, man. My damn lights broke. Anyway, you said he was CIA agent. Angela was messing with that's a good point that's a good point and I do like how they tried to tie in how Mecca was involved with all this stuff and work with Lobos and all of that that was actually kind of good writing and good thinking to try to make people a little more connected but not so obviously connected in power um, because we don't know about him and how he popped in and out or whatever. Um, so, you know, um, that was pretty good. Hold on. What y'all think of my theme song, man? Did he do a good job? I think he did a good job, man. What y'all think? What would y'all rate that theme song I had? Uh, I definitely like it. And uh, I think he did a good job, uh, you know. Um, I, if you all did tell me, I missed it because I was too busy trying to get all this stuff together. <laughs> um, so, you know. Um, and also, if you just came to the stream, I see we got about 100 more people up in here damn near. 50, 60 more people, whatever. Um, don't forget to hit the hashtag JMoreReviews in the comments so that you are entered into the cash giveaway tonight 
Okay, hashtag J More Reviews, all right? <clears throat> all right, where should we start? How about we start at the very beginning? I really, really like that part on how we see Tawik is tweaking in his nightmares with all the people he done screwed over. Uh, namely, everybody was there except for his dad. But we saw he had his uh, teacher, Jabari, up in there. Uh, ooh, la la was up in there. Um, you know what I'm saying? They had all kind of people in there. But uh, it was dope to see that he ain't just sitting around without any remorse. Um, I thought that was a little... Um, I would think it was corny if he didn't have remorse with all of these bodies that he's either killed or are responsible for being killed. Um, Professor Reynolds was there. Um, we already know that. We saw 50 Cent was in there. Um, you know, he telling him, what's up? Uh, you set me up, which is true, because Tariq did him dirty. And you, you see all the good things that you want to have him come back and talk to you about. Why he ain't sitting there ready to get revenge on your ass for getting him set up. He could have been had you killed. He planned on putting a bullet in the back of your head when you was on the couch over at his spot. So, you know, and uh, that's another good thing. Ray Ray should have been in there too, right? He should have had Ray Ray in there because he definitely popped Ray Ray for that. Um, that was dope to see Proctor come up in there. Um... Oh, Ray Ray was there. Okay, it did happen fast. Remember, this is the first reaction and uh, some of the stuff I forgot too. Ray Ray was there though, which was good. So Ray Ray was there. Um, BB, you said that Kanan was hard for you. You cried. <laughs> he was that type of person that was a bad person, but had likable aspects, which is true. A lot of people that I knew and grew up knowing did a lot of bad things, but they still had likable aspects and you were friends, even though they did a lot of bad things. So, you know, that was that's, that shows that a lot of people are not just so good or bad. It's not so black and white as some people like to say all the time. Um, yeah, that's tripped out. Ray Ray was there as well as Raina. Raina was there also, and, you know, is that really Tariq's fault Raina's dead? I mean, yeah, it is. We can see she growing up into her little young lady's body. Um, she's actually looking really nice and mature. I had to give it to her. She was looking good, uh, see her growing up and everything, so that was good to see her. Uh, I think her name is Don Shay. Um, but yeah, it was good to see her come back. Um, she should have smacked the hell out of his ass in the dream. <laughs> Saw him waking up. <laughs> but uh, his ass watched his sister get blown away. He ain't say nothing. That was dirty. And Lala was there. She gave him that fire, boy. She put her hands on his ass. Uh, so that was definitely, uh, good. She should have squeezed them cheeks. <laughs> uh, but, uh, you know, um, it was good. Everybody was there for his ass with that heat, uh, even Proctor. But, you know, Tariq act like he was shocked to see Proctor there. Dude, you left the door open for him to get blown away. And he said, yeah, what's up? You done made my daughter, Elisa Marie, an orphan. That was dirty right there, Tariq, boy. He got some stuff on his soul, man. I don't know. Y'all let me know. Put a 1T if y'all think Tariq has, is still redeemable in the eyes of the Lord. <laughs> Put a 2T if you think his, he can't be redeemed. I mean, and if you look at this damn room, he got damn near a full class of, of horrors. Uh, people that's sitting there burning and uh, well I think Raina may not be burning but they did nevertheless so uh you know a lot of people is 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 took a dirt nap because of his ass and then he's to shock professors there 
Uh, she said, I'm Professor Feel Good, not Feel Cold. You got me dead up in here. I just wanted to get with Freaky Zeke and give him some extra credit. Little Poontang Pie. Nevertheless, this fool done got this girl made her hang herself. But they also alluded that this one right here may have had something to do with it. She lied again to Zeke talking about as soon as everything happened, she went straight to Mecca's knowing damn well she ain't went there. And he straight lied for her ass. He really wants some Nene. He want that Nene. She got that good Nene. Uh, let's see. Got a lot of people up in here that voted. Let's see. Got a lot of 1T, 2T, 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 1T, 1T. It's a lot of bodies involved with. Definitely not 2T, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2. Y'all think he done, huh? So did he proctor killed his daughter mother? One T, one T. I don't know. I think uh, it's about over with for Tariq. You say the Lord forgives. That's true. He better start asking. He better start trying to get a reservation at forgiveness uh, table. Because uh, he in trouble. Uh, Sheena, you say you ready for Zeke to go? <laughs> Zeke may be there. Now, what's up with Monet? She is horrible. Now she trying to get these kids' father killed. The same M.O. in power. Daddy got to go. Daddy got to go. No father lives in power, man. I still think she going to end up getting Mecca killed and not Lorenzo. Because I think, you know what? I think I said this either in Discord or one of my videos I made this past week. I would not be surprised if she end up having Mecca and Lorenzo kill. That way, she could be back in charge, back in control, and have her little freedom back. Watch. Remember, y'all heard it here first. She gonna get Mecca and Lorenzo probably to kill each other. And Tariq, I don't think he gonna get that $2 million like he won't. I know that's a great plan, but I just, if he gets that money, I mean, for one, is he might as well just sign the check over to Davis because that ain't, that's just what? A, a month of pay for Davis? <laughs> He better get a cheaper lawyer. He better get prepaid legal up in this mug. Straight up. But I think that she gonna, yeah, Kendall. She gonna make sure Dante sign them papers so she get all that money. She gonna get him killed. And then Lorenzo is gonna be killed. She'll be back in control with all the money. And be able to do whatever she want to do by herself and, and run those kids. And them kids, Diana, Diana going to try to kill her in the next season. Watch. You kill my poppy. Diana set up Tariq for poppy. Diana, boy, she ain't no joke. She came with the little leather pants on. Crocodile tears. We was talking in the Discord. I said Tariq was dumb. He ain't take his phone with him. He left his phone. I don't think that's bad writing. I think they did that on purpose, of course. But I think that was dumb that he ain't take his damn phone. Why he ain't take his phone? She she over here working for Poppy. Poppy say he done tore up the bedroom. He said, you kidding me, my dross. What are you doing? You, you taking the money and my draws to Tawi? You go and you give me my draws and you prove it to Papi that you still love me, huh? 
Don't take my drugs over here, over the street. Drew, you working with him for revenge? I want you to hurry up, to get in your boot bag, climb in Mount Avery, and you get in my, my drawers. You sit at the top of Mount Avery if that's what you needed to do, but you giving me my drawers bar. I thought you were smart. I feel that. I didn't know that. I thought you were smart. You're not smart. You don't do that. How you do that? You falling for the chocolate? I know, the chocolate is very tasty and sweet. But you can't do that. You can't let it get the best of you. You let it come up and sneak you from behind. I know, that's your favorite way to take it, but you can't let it do that. Give me my drawers. And then we roll and we take it over the body of horns. Let's go. Give me my money. <laughs> Ah, Lorenzo. His ass got his crew still selling drugs on the corner. They corner boys. They was corner boys back in BMF days. In, in, uh, in Power Book 3, they was corner boys. He's still operating 30 years in behind. Now, we was talking in Discord, and you all let me know in the comments what you think. But I was saying that I know it's not as many people selling dope on corners like that no more. I know in Chicago it's not with all the cameras and surveillance. People still sell drugs. They just don't stand on the blocks like that. Now in New York, I know they got even more cameras than Chicago and other places. New York and California got the most cameras in the United States. Some people in Discord feel nobody care about cameras. I'm not saying that they care so much they don't become a drug dealer, but I don't know. Do people still sell on the corners like that in New York? Let me know. I don't know. I know they don't in Chicago the same way they did 10, 20 years ago. But what do y'all think? We got Encouraging Warrior. Thank you for the super chat. You said Diana talking about why everybody hate me everybody hates diana you got a big mouth <laughs> she definitely got a big mouth she tried to pull that everybody hate chris uh type of role and Tariq ass fell for a hook line and sinker didn't he don't worry i don't care i don't hate you i actually really like you a lot you make me feel good <laughs> his dumb ass ran up out there to get us some water with the quickness boy and she straight scammed his ass. She was able to get all his damn stuff real quick, wasn't she? This dude replaced the whole damn wall up there. Why, when she scanned it, every damn door opened up. <laughs> like the damn jackpot slot machine. Like she was at Trump Casino. D -d 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 ding Tariq still don't know he got robbed yet. His dumb ass ain't even checked. Anyway... You say ain't no corners, it's band bandos and trap houses. Yeah, like I know the game has changed. Yeah, trap houses, a bando is abandoned apartments, abandoned houses. That's one thing they had in Chicago too. You go to the bando. That way if you do have to bounce or get raided, nobody's name is on it. You know? Um, so we see David Parker say the block always gonna be bumping. Okay, so that's two two opposing things bb says some corners here they do allegedly <laughs> uh, i know right but you in new england okay well yeah in new york is what i'm talking about because the amount of cameras and surveillance uh so you know just checking it out jimmy what's up jimmy levy thank you for the super chat my brother you say they got to pick a Kane's truck twice on camera. Yeah, which is bad because they building a case on his ass. And we saw, even though Braden was trying to keep it cool when he was talking with his brother, who definitely is about to be dead before this show is over with uh, in the next episode or two. If he go and take the stand, his goofy ass think this is a joke of the game. Dude, you, you about to die. Um, but... They was on camera in front of Ramirez's squad car on his dash camera, you know. Um, and that's the thing. Yeah, people still may commit crimes, but 
you get caught when you have footage of you on camera or doing dirt. So that's all I'm saying. Um, Sheena, you say, how would the Tejadas recover? The family is so divided. I think that they're going to have Lorenzo killed. And she's going to have Mecca killed. And I think that Drew and Kane will be still loyal to her. Kane, because he knew he was about to die. And he even told her, tell Drew and Diana, you know, I love them, basically. And she ain't going to let Kane get killed. So what's going to happen is he going to have loyalty to her for saving his ass. Drew is going to be lightweight scared of her. And Diana is going to be ready to have her killed. And it's going to end up being Diana versus Monet as a little subplot next season. Um, so we'll see. Um, let me see what up. Uh, you say y'all loved her last week with that same big mouth, blatant truth. That's true. I still love her with that big ass mouth. Make it do some things. No. But all seriously, um, I think that she still did a good job in putting all that info out there. But at the same time, I think she did the way her delivery was was not the best, is what I would say. Um, so I don't know. Brian, what's up, Brian? You say you from NYC. People still be on the corners in the hood. Okay. All right. So I guess, you know, in some areas, people still on the corners. In some areas, they in bandos and trap houses. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, Bar Barika, you said, so Monet killed Professor Thought Pocket. <laughs> Notice Dante's face when she said to Zeke she was with Mecca as an alibi. Right. That was messed up. Now, here's my thoughts on that. Um, I think that she still did not kill her, but that she did not want to tell Zeke that she was there because he probably wouldn't believe her right now because her credibility is shot. She's lied so much to him that he probably wouldn't have believed her. She said, well, afterwards, I went to talk to her, but I didn't kill her, though. I promise. He probably wouldn't believe it, so she probably just said she didn't have nothing to do with it and she wasn't there. That's my thoughts. I hope we find out more in the next episode. Now, she did visit Tariq as a ghost, and when she was kind of talking to him, she didn't say... Uh, you got me killed. She said you made me go on the stand and alluded to maybe she couldn't handle it and you tricked me into putting my business out there in these streets and tricked me into getting getting embarrassed and I killed myself. So I don't know. Shout out to everybody watching. We got 325, 28 people up in here. Um, can I get 300 likes, please? Let me get some more likes in the building if y'all enjoying this show. I mean, I'm up 2.30 in the morning uh, coming with y'all to, to provide a little content. I hope everybody enjoying it. If you haven't already, definitely put hashtag JMoreReviews in the comments so you can get entered into the uh, Cash App giveaway. All right? Definitely put in the hashtag JMore Reviews. Um, the way I'm doing this now, I cannot see how many people have put in the likes. Um, when I stream, that's one thing it doesn't show. So, how many people, um, how many likes is it right now? And also, for some reason, my thing just messed up. Okay, there it is. It was showing nine people all of a sudden. Went from 325 to 9. I'm like, damn. Everybody left in the instant. Um, so I appreciate it. Don't forget to put in the hashtag JMore Reviews. And uh, somebody let me know how many likes we got right now. I definitely appreciate it. 125. That's what I'm talking about. Appreciate it, everybody. Uh, definitely put in the likes. Let's see how many people 
are entered into the Cash App giveaway. Let's see. Uh, hold on. Where is it? All right. Right now, we got 43 people. Come on. It's 330 people up in here. Everybody, come on and join in. Put in the hashtag JMore Reviews. Even if you don't want the money, join in. If you win, just say give it to somebody else or draw again, and I can definitely do that. All right? So, um, definitely go ahead and put that in. Um, I see a couple uh, super chats I just missed while I was checking the other screen. Um, Birds Nation, what's up, my brother? I ain't seen you in a while. Good to see you back on the block. You say, man, where's 2-Bit? I know, right? And why did they say that, uh, what, Loren not Lorenzo, what's his name? Uh, they said he'll be back in this episode. It turned out they must have cut his part out. Uh, what's his name? I done forgot his damn name now. Uh, that was with, with, uh, what you call it, and he got arrested. Y'all know who I'm talking about. <laughs> anyway, I don't know, man. Two bit still spending that money he got from Tawik. Tawik put fifty G's in his pocket. He he didn't retire from the life. <laughs> uh, what's up, Jimmy? Jimmy coming through for a brother these last few days, man. I appreciate you, Jimmy. Definitely. You say two bit on Power Book Four Force. Okay, I don't know how in the world two bit end up in Chicago. <laughs> and from what I know, it is a small time difference between Power Book 2 and Power Book 4 Force. Um, so I don't know all the details, but it's a little bit more in the future. So like maybe a couple months in the future. It's not immediately after we see Tommy leave. So, uh, you know, that that's what happened. What's old boy name? Let me see if somebody put it in here. That was supposed to be in here. The Spanish dude. Uh, who put the Spanish dude name in here? I got to go down here and see. He's supposed to be in here. Birds Nason, you missed my suit. I, you must have put that before I went back. Give me some time, y'all. I'm getting a lot of comments, but I ain't going to never miss my super chats. I'm going to always go back. But sometimes when it's a lot of comments, it pushes them up. On this screen, it does show uh, them up at the top for a little bit of time. But I appreciate you, man. Good to see you. Miss um, KJ coming through i appreciate you as well miss kj with the super chat support to the channel um you all definitely been coming through and helping and i definitely appreciate appreciate it all right somebody said talk about the show what you think i've been doing crystal ball there we go what happened to crystal's balls he didn't got his balls polished up in here they didn't clip them or something man where he at we didn't thought he was supposed to be here he was listed on IMDb for I don't know how long and where he at. They didn't deleted him out the show. So I don't know what happened to Christo's balls. He is on the cast list. Thank you, Jimmy. He on the cast list. He was supposed to be in this season and we ain't seen him in a minute. Since when? Power season six? So I don't know what happened to him. Um, Davon Wright, thank you for the super chat. You say Reek going to kill Braden or his brother. I said Reek would kill Braden in a video. Oh, it was a while ago. And I must admit, I did think maybe that wasn't going to be the case. Now it's starting to look like it is because he's starting to be a snitch. And... You let Lauren get killed by Effie, no less. And you talk about Reek always keeping secrets. You got a lot of secrets, man. Your brother about to turn evidence. You've been running with Kane behind his back the whole time. Now you didn't let his girl Lauren get killed, a.k.a. Malibu Barbie. 
Effie, boy, don't don't get between the dog and his meat, boy. She do not play. That Tawinas is gold, boy. That Tawinas is gold, boy. She is not giving that up at all. So, you know, I don't know, man. Is Tariq going to have to kill Effie? I think Tariq going to have to kill this girl, man. Next season. And they remember, like he said, uh, Kanan said, you ain't a real killer till you kill somebody you love. He's starting to have feelings for her. He going to have to kill this damn girl, man. She crazy. She going to be like fatal attraction. I will refuse to be ignored, Tariq. E e e e straight up that damn little pretty cute girls be the ones that be the, the most dangerous she been sliced off a little piece of little you know what i'm saying sausage for breakfast wake up missing his little member he got a little dinkleberry hanging around straight up get in the car and throw it out the window <laughs> man he really would have a tawinas straight up Cause man, this girl ain't no joke. And she just straight kidnapped her and took her from Braden. If I was Braden and I saw she took her, I'd be like, hold up, hold up. Give me my goddamn money back. Shit. You don't need it. You don't need no money where you going, bitch. <laughs> Jimmy, what's up, Jimmy Levy? Two bit on Power Book Four Force Cast list. I'm looking at it. Yeah, he definitely is on there, and we ain't seen him. It's only one episode left, so if he gonna be in there, it's gotta be next episode as well as uh, Crystal Ball, cause where they at? It had said Crystal Ball was gonna be in maybe even four episodes at one point, but. They may have put that in to throw people off because they know power fans be doing their research up in here. Um, they worse than Diana doing research in here. So they probably did that to throw power fans off. That's what I'm starting to think now. So I don't know. It's still a lot of people. It say the force cast list. Okay. And uh, it says a lot of, but I'm talking about uh, what you call it. Uh... Crystal Ball. Crystal Ball was supposed to be in this season. And uh, I'll pull it up right quick. I think that they are doing that to throw people off. Um, maybe he may be in the last episode. It's still some people in uh, Power, Book 4, and uh, other shows that I know about that are not listed so you know who knows also let's talk about Lorenz Tate what's up protagonist um Lorenz Tate with the influence boy he's slowly building up his show uh he said man you know how many nervous farts I have to sit through give me the goddamn man uh, paperwork boy shit y'all done smelled all kind of diarrheas up in here all kind of running farts and dookies. Boy, give me the damn paper. And Tariq sitting up in here still saying silliness. Man, make sure this person don't get... Man, you better give me that damn paperwork. What you gonna do? I'm gonna ruin your ass is what I'm gonna do. Alright, we see right here. Let's go. If they have... I forgot what's his name, man. Let's go to episode 10, Heart of Darkness. Tariq will do whatever it takes to clear his mother, but knowing he's... This is season one. Okay. I'm about to say, hold up. Fair fight. Season two. Love and war. All's fair and love and war. <laughs> um, they got Zeke. 
And Zeke, man, they got Tamika listed in here. I don't know if she... Matt Sedano, that's him. Crystal Ball. And 2-Bit. So they got 2-Bit and Crystal Ball listed to be in this next episode. Maybe we'll find out what happened to Lauren uh, in the next episode. Who knows? What's up, Wit? Man, they made Mecca look a little soft. So he said he knew Kane robbed him. Why you killed Chef Chef Death then? Now you isolated all by yourself. You sitting there all by yourself isolated. You ain't able to have anybody got your back. And now you got Monet knowing what you did, what you about. You sitting there, you made uh, Kane... You what you got him isolated with a cell phone? That dude don't give a damn about a cell phone. He sat there and robbed you anyway. Now he was tripping about that bag. We could talk about that bag for a second right quick. That bag, he had all kind of court documents, subpoenas. He had a damn uh passports. How did he have Monet and Kane and everybody passports. Was those fake passports? I don't know. But he ain't even tripping about that ring yet. At least he ain't brought it up. He ain't even brought up that that ring ain't been found and is missing. But he was tripping about all that, that information and documents. Tariq, smart ass. I don't blame him. I would have called Davis up too. Hey, the hell with that. I didn't put millions in your pocket. We boys. Okay? We boys. I need to hit your ass up whenever I need to. Okay? He hit him up. Found out about Dante Spears. He like, oh man. Not only is that he a snitch. He's legendary. Taking out cartels. Then we find out he's related into. Well, not related. But affiliated with the Lobos. And he helped take out Lobos. He's like, yeah, tell your dad when you see him in hell. I said, good looking out. You know, that was dope. I will say that that was pretty cool to show he affiliated with Lobos. And that he, you know, we starting to learn a little more about his background. I made a video. Y'all check out my playlist. I said he the feds. Now, I did say... He not the regular feds or something like that. I said, I don't think he like feds really, which it turns out he really isn't. He just was snitching and working with him. Um, Birds Nation, he told on Lobos, right? Which, you know, that could have probably got him killed because Lobos was having people killed with no problem. But Ghost took him out. So, you know, I get it. Um, but he shouldn't have had everything in that same bag. He did have it protected in his little loft, castle, whatever, penthouse. But why put everything in one spot? K-Dub, fake passports. Just go back to what Mecca and Monet discussed a few episodes ago when she agreed to go away with him before Lorenzo's release. Okay, that's that's a good one. Informant is worse than a snitch. What's the difference? I mean, informants get paid to snitch, but they both the same in my book. Are informants different than snitches? Y'all let me know. Davon Wright, thank you for the super chat, fam. I definitely appreciate it. Uh, Ramon Hope, I think Mecca the snitch leads Zeke real leaked Zeke real age that's what I said in discord we was all talking a lot in discord by the way we got almost 400 people in here thank y'all for coming through make sure you put hashtag jmore reviews in the comments to be entered into the cash app giveaway but do not leave once you put it in you do need to still be here in order to win also if you want to join my channel membership um i'm gonna put the link right here and the link is always in the description box of my videos 
so if you are looking on the replay it will be in the description box but come on through we got a dope group of people in the membership in the discord we watch power live we watch movies we talk chat discussions we even got a little battle rap thing going on right now for discord members only this friday it's supposed to be a showdown between two of our Discord members. Damn, it was funny last night listening to them battle rap all night long and and jokes. It was funny. So shout out to everybody. Uh, you know, Ray Negron and Steve Walton for uh, being part of that. And uh, it was damn funny. Um, but also, y'all came with a couple bars here and there. Some more than others. So, we do a lot in Discord. I just put the link there. Join up. Be a member. Be a part of this. Not only do we talk, have fun, you get to talk, learn a lot about behind the scenes, what goes on in this YouTube world, as well as other things. Um, be a Tommy Egan level or higher to be a part of the channel Discord membership. Um, back to Ramon Hope. I definitely think he leaked Zeke's real age so that he would not leave and go to the draft and that he would just give it all up and be with him because he want to spend time getting to be with Zeke and Monet as a family. And if Zeke joined the NBA and left, then Zeke wouldn't need them. Now, he did tell Zeke, I'm going to get you a private coach, tutor, whatever, and you can leave school which is a good idea, but then Zeke talking about, I think I'm about to be done with both of y'all. I know this is dangerous. Even I know that. I, I, I can't do that. Y'all want me to take take care of the time off. And even I know that's dangerous. Let me know. Because when I go to NBA, I'm done with both of you. Bye. Mama T. Poppy, daddy, friend. Who are you? <laughs> Shout out to the new member. Thank you for joining. Uh, and also, hold on. I got to come back. Uh, fold the PD1. Welcome to the family. You're now part of the organization. Okay? I'm not like Mecca. I don't take out my members. I embrace the family. I don't do that. I see that. I feel that. I grow in the organization. Welcome to the fold. Okay. Um, also, De Devon Wright, the second bag is the ring. Mom got pregnant twice. Wow. Speaking of that, I do like how she explained it to take away all the ifs, ands, and speculations that other people were doing talking about parents wouldn't let her this and that she said they told her she couldn't raise a family and mecca wouldn't be there but they didn't make her give the baby up she said she went down south and had the baby and basically zeke's who he thought was his mammy always wanted a boy and took care of him so she left from there she didn't say they made me give you away. I'm glad they cleared that up because some people had to be left to speculate so much. And that simple line or two made that a lot more clear for the viewers to understand and see. And I appreciate that. Draco coming through with the $10. I appreciate you, man, with the super chat support. Um, you say informants can get more info and pose as a dealer like Mecca. A snitch is like Trace who gets nothing out of it. Okay, so that's worse to get something out of it? I mean, they still bad. I guess an informant can set you up. Just like if y'all saw... Um, what's that with... Uh, with... Uh, with the with the Black Panthers, 
and dude had to get uh, black clan, not black clansmen. Was that black? No, with uh, it had what you call it in there. Y'all to tell me the name. What's the name, man? I'm getting old. What's the movie where they had he was snitching on the Black Panthers and uh, he had to get therapy in real life? Anyway, he was uh, setting them up. He was getting paid by the FBI, not Ricky Ross. Uh, what's the name of that movie? Y'all know. It ain't Black Klansman. It, it's uh, what the hell is that name of that movie, man? William or Judas and the Black Messiah, Jake Kelly, coming through with the information for a brother. Judas and the Black Messiah. He was an informant because he was getting paid by the feds to to snitch on them and uh, give information, which was worse in a sense because they thought he was a brother. So I guess you got a point. It is worse being an informant if they think you're a brother and the whole time you stabbing them in the back. That's dirty. Uh, you say uh, we got Chastity Lamar joining the family. Welcome to La Onda. Welcome to the organization. Papi will take care of you. I don't do that. I see that. I feel that. Welcome to the thing you bringing me, my dross. And I will always be there for you. I don't do it like a mecca. No. I, I embrace you. You're under the wing. That's you. Under the wing. Under the wing. That's you. Welcome. <laughs> you say, Mark Dawson, how you feel about what Effie did? That was dirty. All right. Effie, I think, really wanted to take her out, not because of the snitching or because she affected Tariq. Uh, I mean, uh, you know, I think uh, that she's protecting Tariq, not affecting. That she's trying to protect Tariq. I think she's trying to protect her Tawinas, protect that man, Meech. That's her love. We already saw she tried to talk Diana out of being a part of Tariq's life. So if she find out, I think it's this way. I would say 40% she wanted to take her out because she loved her some Tariq. And then I'd say maybe 30% she was trying to protect him. And then the other 30% was because maybe she didn't like her. <laughs> so, you know. Devon Wright was good. Frank Lucas. Frank Lucas wasn't an informant. He was a snitch. So Frank Lucas really was a drug dealer and doing everything until he got caught. And then he snitched on everybody so he didn't go to jail for life. I was talking about Judas and the Black Messiah where they was uh, locking up. Where do I can't remember these names right now. It's, it's three in the morning right now but dude was the whole time a plant he never was really there because he wanted to now eventually he became part of the movement and he liked them and that's what made him conflicted and the real person committed suicide after he did that interview stuff but originally he never was planning on being a part of the movie I mean the movement um. So Brian said Until they show Lauren dead in the bushes She ain't dead I feel you on that But this is the thing Brayden already had her Why would they show her get kidnapped By Brayden And he about to let her go Only for Effie to take her from him And then let him go What would be the point of that So I'm going to take you from him Because he going to let you go And you know what I'm going to do I'm going to let you go. But I'm going to let you go up the block, bitch. You're going to have to walk more. He was about to give you money. You're going to have to go broke. Now what? I don't play. <laughs> yeah, I think Lauren gone. And also, what's up with Kane? He had to tell Brayden, hey, you don't take her out. You know what I'm going to have to do. What's that? 
You gonna kill her? No, I'm gonna kill you, you dumbass. <laughs> so, I don't know, man. Braden brother is a big dummy, too. So, I don't know. Shout out to, we got 407 people. I think this is gonna be my new record for people on the first reaction at 3 a.m. Eastern time. So, we got 408. We had a new record. I appreciate everybody for coming through. Make sure I'm gonna have to write this in my in my record books over here. Let's, we're gonna have to hang this record from the rafters of the United Center. <laughs> um, I believe that this may be the most I had. Let me go ahead and write it down. Record books. I want to thank all of y'all for coming through. Um, definitely have some great questions, everybody. We up to 414. I might as well wait to write it all in there until we done. So thank you, Kendall. But more importantly, thank all of y'all for coming through. Um, also, don't forget to put the hashtag JMoreReviews in the comments that's why i'm scrolling at the bottom of the screen definitely put that in and also check out my website that i made i made it myself i'm not a computer genius but i think i did a good job it's got a lot of background information on me what i've been through it's also got my videos up there organized i'm still trying to keep it updated and also you got some behind the scenes pictures and different things that that's not on any of the social media sites. So definitely check out the website, jmorereviews.com. And also subscribe to the website. That's very important. It's free. Subscribe to the website. So that way, whenever I update it, you are notified. I'm trying to have some people I'm working with to work with me to help keep it updated and also any channel members you have to be a member any channel members that are interested in helping be a person to moderate or be an admin for my Facebook group I'm a, I got a Facebook page Facebook group if you want to help to keep the Facebook page going and growing, hit me up. But you do have to be a channel member. And if you are interested, hit me up. More than one person. It's not a job for just one person. So if you're interested, hit me up. And we can make something happen. All right? I want to grow my Facebook group to hundreds or thousands of people and people could talk about TV shows, movies, whatever. You know how they got some Facebook groups that only talk about power or whatever? Well, we'll be able to talk about power and all of the shows. So we keep it going. All right. Let's talk about one more thing before we get up out of here about this episode. Um, Ramon Hope with the super chat. Thank you. You said Effie did take out Lauren. I didn't like the fact that she link, linked up Kane, but at the end of the day, Effie did the right thing taking out Lauren. Woo! Did she do the right thing? Everybody put a 1E if you think Effie did the right thing. Put a 2E if you think she didn't. Do you all think Lauren would have still snitched on Tariq? Or was she a liability? Um, I'm on the fence right there. I'm at 50-50 right now. I'm not saying it wasn't. I'm not saying it was. I think that she probably would have been a liability if I think about it more. But then again, she might not have been. So let me see what you all put. Um, but I do agree with you, Ramon, that he she did take her out. As far as linking up with Kane, she ain't going to let him hit. But she does know how to network. We got a couple 1E, one 1E, one, e, one, got a 2, 2, 2. 
Got a one, two, two, two. Got a one, two, two. Steve with the one, 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 two, 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 two. Okay, so it might be kind of split down the middle. I think a lot of people are 50 50. HEA said 50 50. Um, HEA, I thought you was, we got to check on you. I thought you was a member. I didn't take you out of the organization. What happened? Um, so, yeah, um, definitely she should. She, that's a good one, man. Maybe I had to make a video on that. But I do think when you're in that type of game where somebody can put you in jail, although she doesn't really have hard evidence on Tariq, she probably could put Brayden in jail more than Tariq since Brayden was caught by her on the wire with Kane together. That's affiliation. And somebody did say that it was two people and Brayden was caught in on the dash cam with K in Kane's vehicle by Ramirez. So if anything, Brayden, they should have been investigating and questioning Brayden from the jump. I said that anyway. He was Tariq's roommate. If anything, Brayden needed to kill her more than Tariq. Effie protected Brayden more than Tariq, actually. Devon, you said Brayden should have told Reek about the FBI. Hell yeah, he should have told him. Definitely. Why he come in the room trying to get mad about that picture? You only tried to get mad about that picture because you know damn well you sitting here with secrets of your own about the snitch on Tariq, set him up, and you don't want to feel guilty about all the dirt you about to do. So you use that as a way to get mad and then justify in your mind why you about to do him dirty. Well, hell, he does me dirty anyway, bro. So, like, what the hell, bro? Like, I got to be there with my family. Trace, Trace is going to have my back no matter what. So, my daddy, I got to protect my daddy, bro. That's my dad, bro. I told you, don't show the picture. She did it anyway. Time for you to go to jail, Rick. Shouldn't have showed that picture. Get your ass out of here. <laughs> Get your ass out of here. You know what I mean? You dirty. You said Brayden isn't trying to get his brother killed. His brother's a B.I. itch, though. He need to get rid of him. But I agree, Tell. You're not going to kill your own brother. That would be real dirty, wouldn't it? But we'll see. They make everybody kill their dad. So I don't know. Dwayne said, we tripping if we think Braden going to double cross Tariq. I mean, he already did. He already doing it. He in the process of doing it now. Thank you, Desserts by Natalie. I got to get some of them desserts. Get a little pie. Them boom thing pie, baby. <laughs> What's up, Jocelyn? You said Lauren just gone for a while. She coming back on the TV show, The Oval. Well, yeah, but she dead in power. <laughs> she just got her power turned off. Power turned off, bitch. You ain't paid the bill. Cut that power off. No more tricity. She ain't paid the tricity bill. Power turned off. She got to go into The Oval. Straight up. Um, we got 400 people still rocking with us. Um, we had a, a record number of 400 and what? 18 people. Uh, so at one point we had 418 watching live. I appreciate all of y'all for watching. Go ahead and put in the hashtag JMore Reviews. It's about that time to do the cash app giveaway. All right cash app giveaway raffle okay and also uh i'm gonna play uh some music let's see can i play the music uh they won't let me put no more background music on here let's see
Let's see if I can add this thing on here. Nope. Let me see if I can play. Try to play some music on here. Uh, don't look like I'm gonna be able to. All right. Devon Wright coming through. What's up, man? Appreciate you. you said Braden going on the stand next episode. Shake my forking head. Ha <laughs> ha. Hey. I know, right? That's dirty as well, man. That he gonna snitch. Um, I swear Tariq need to take his ass out. Uh, like, Tommy would have never did that, but Braden ain't built that way. And that's why I like how when he was talking to Effie, Effie said, you found the game. You, the, Most people, the game come up to their front door. You chose it. Time for you to do what you supposed to do, bitch. Off with the head. Rockabye, baby. Booka. So, we'll see. Jocelyn, you need a body for proof? Hey, that's true. Um, we'll see. Lauren definitely about to get that water turned off for sure. Uh, she definitely is uh, in danger of getting that water turned off. Uh, Darnell, thank you. I appreciate you. Glad that, uh, you know, you uh, appreciate and watch the growth. Um, it has been a grind, and uh, I thank each and every one of y'all for coming on through, uh, helping uh, make this channel grow and, and make it. So I appreciate it. Um, somebody said, "Why are we up so late?" You ain't you up right now? Everybody up so late because they just watched Power at midnight. That's why. Um, Brillo coming through. You said Braden is not going to snitch. They want us to think he is. You know, I kind of think you're right as well. They built him up to be, uh, you know, his Tommy, his right-hand man. And I don't think he's going to snitch either. But I think he's contemplating what he's going to do. And I can see him maybe killing his brother. Or getting his, maybe him not killing it. He couldn't kill Lauren, so how he going to kill his brother? But maybe he will tell Cain or something happened, get his brother. He going to find a way for his brother not to say nothing. They already been offered immunity. So, I mean, they could snitch and nothing happen. But he know they'll come looking for his ass at wherever he is and kill him. So, we'll see. Lakel Bishop. What up from ATL? Been rocking with you for a minute. Finally caught a live. Well, I'm glad you caught the live. I'm appreciative that you've been rocking with me for a minute. I definitely do appreciate it. Um, anybody that wants to come through and join the channel membership, I just put the link in the description uh, of the live chat. We had two new members join tonight. Thank you very much. We got about 70 plus people in the Discord alone. Um, everybody Tommy Egan level or higher is able to join the Discord um, where we talk, watch movies together, laugh, joke. We even got a little battle rap showdown coming this Friday between two of the members. It's only going to be Discord only though. I'm not going to make it public for everybody. It's something that happened in the Discord. And what happened in the Discord stays in the Discord. This is family business. We don't put it the family business out there in the screen. You don't put it the family business in the screen. You keep it in the house, in La Casa. You keep it in La Casa and we handle it. We're not a Diana. We don't put it out there and put it on the table. Everybody take it and little piece of here and it don't taste it good. We put it in the house and we make sure that everyone gets to cherry. Anyway, <laughs> come on through. Definitely smash those likes. Definitely appreciate it. Let me go ahead, everybody. If you haven't already, we got almost 400 people still rocking with us. Hit the hashtag JMore Reviews. I'm about to get ready and do the Cash App giveaway. All right. 
What's up, Lakel? Thank you for joining the family. You're now under the wing. You're under my wing. Welcome. I take care of you. You're under the wing like a little baby bird. I take care of you until you're able to fly. Eric Iverson, what's up, man? I always see you on Lamont channel. I'm glad you ain't forget about little old me coming through. You say, I don't remember Lobos getting snitched on on power. Well, Lobos did have some issues going on, but we didn't see what happened because he got killed. And that's why he said Lobos did find out about it, but nothing happened yet. That's why he said, tell your pops good looking out. So Lobos didn't get a chance to do anything. And Power never really developed Lobos. We don't know nothing about his organization. We only knew about what he was doing with Ghost. And to me, Lobos was the best bad guy Power had. I don't know. What do y'all think? Who was the best bad guy Power had? Lobos was dope. I mean, the way he was able to do some Phantasma. You come in here, Phantasma. You, you're going to take care of the organization. You're going to move it, the brother, Phantasma. All right, take it, your boss, and go to the off. He, didn't, he kidnapped Ghost and Tommy. He made Tommy get up out of there a couple times. He checked Tommy a few times and Ghost. You know what I'm saying? He was getting a little heady Murphy from his little boy toy in the pool. They tried to kill him. Dude got his, his muffin, muffin top peeled back blue. He still was able to take out the, the competition. I am the real Fantasma. They don't take out the low boss. He had his little informant. He had his inside man working for the government. Low boss, man, they could have really... They could have really, uh, you know what I'm saying, expanded on his character more. Milan infiltration was epic. I will agree with that. He infiltrated Ghost like a G. Ghost ain't even know his security was the, the people trying to take him out. That was dope. And that's why I don't like how they ended up taking Milan out in like four episodes. Like, man, this dude was amazing. Next thing you know, he dead in like three, four episodes. I'm like, man, come on, man. They took Milan out too easy. Kentrell Mobley, welcome to the organization. Now you're under the wing. Welcome. You will enjoy it. Everybody that's a member that's in Discord, go ahead and let people know in the comments your experience. Because, you know, I know some people may be on the fence or they may be thinking, I'm just saying this or saying that, hyping it up. You tell them, and that's a better endorsement than what I can say. You know, just keep it real. Um, right now, we still got 389 people up in here. We got 89 entries. Come on, let's get up to 100. That means it's 300 people watching right now that did not put hashtag JMore Reviews in the comment. Why? What's the problem? You don't want to be able to make it the money? You big rich people? You some big rich town? Watching the big rich show? Go ahead and put it in there. What are you doing? I give it to you. I try to give back to the peoples. You don't want me to give back it to the peoples? y'all trying to you be like hey what y'all doing everybody like money even i know that what you mean that's not my birthday that's not my birthday the nba the, i can't go to sacramento oh man they don't want me i'm only 23 24 just like the TV show, 24, I can't save no NBA team. They don't want me in the NBA. I mean, I only got two, four, two, three more years to play. What I'm going to do? Oh, man. Don't kill my teammate. 
I know you like to play with his joystick, but it's okay. Don't take him out. Everett is my best good teammate. Even I know that don't come around too often. Hit that hashtag JMO reviews. Thank you. We got 99 in the building. Come on, y'all. Put that in there. Let's get up to 100 at least. 100 people. I know $10 ain't a lot. I ain't, I can't give away who wants to be a millionaire money. But, hey, it's a dessert or, or a little entree or something on, on, on DoorDash, bag of weed, whatever. <laughs> Ramon Hope. You said, what's up with Power Killing Connects? Like, it's like they playing Call of Duty. I know, right? We just get another Connect. You can't just find another high-level Connect. You could kill a corner boy and just go to another block. You can't find another Connect moving weight that easy. They ain't going to want to work with you. They going to find out you didn't went through what happened to your last Connect. Uh, see, what had happened was it was a bullet in the air. And he, like, stepped in front of it, man. It was crazy, crazy. He wasn't watching where he was going. I know you're supposed to look both ways. Even I know that. <laughs> we working on millionaire money. I know that's right. <laughs> All right, y'all. We got 102 people. We got a bunch of new people in the membership today. I say today was a good day. I didn't even have to use my AK. All right. Again, for those who's watching and missed what I rated this episode with the Mosco, I gave it an 80, which you can round to an 8 out of 10. If somebody said an 8.5, I could see that because it was entertaining. It wasn't too much fantastical stuff you had to believe or disbelieve. And if somebody said a seven and a half, I can see that. I always give a point five mar what margin of error. <laughs> Either way. But I rated it an eight out of ten, which is an excellent rating. So, you know, everything is not a ten. That's what makes a ten so special. It's rare. It's like, you know. That diamond in the rough. Don't see it too often. All right. Here's time for the Cash App giveaway. You must still be present. Or I will hit draw again if you do not type in here when I, if you win. Okay. And you do need to have Cash App. All right. Here we go. Jocelyn! Ah! How about them Cowboys, Miss Jocelyn? Miss Jocelyn, a longtime member. Well, she's not a member. She should be, but you ain't a member. You should have been a member a long time ago. But, longtime subscriber and viewer. And she used to come on my sports shows. She's a big Cowboys fan. Nice picture, beautiful smile, Miss Jocelyn. This must have been taken before the Cowboys' last playoff game. But don't bolt. Anyway, Miss Jocelyn, are you here? Did you type here? Did Miss Jocelyn type here? Ms. Jocelyn, did she type here? I did see she did comment not too long ago. Let's see. Let me look over here. All right, Ms. Jocelyn is here. There you go, Ms. Jocelyn. Congrats on the win. You did need a win because the Cowboys definitely didn't deliver something for you to celebrate. But don't bump. <laughs> anyway, thank you for being a subscriber and supporter. Thank 
each and every one of y'all for putting in the hashtag J Moore Reviews, being a part of the show to the end. Y'all are all winners. Thank you to all of the new subscribe, well, members of the family. Welcome to the organization. And I will be in Discord after the show to talk with everybody, chop it up some more about the episode. And uh, I appreciate everybody for being a part of the membership and part of the Discord. And I will see y'all at 10 p.m. Eastern Time this Sunday to talk more about the episode. Give a little more details about things I wasn't able to get to this live. Thank you all for watching. Thanks for getting the new live record. 418 people live right now watching. Well, earlier watching. And I appreciate it. We still got 340 people watching right now. Um, how many likes did we get tonight? Um, Brother Ray, thank you for, you know, the support as well as everybody else. Kendall say we got 229 likes. That's another record. I don't think I had 229 likes in one hour. We'll type that on the record books. All right. That's now in the in the review hall of fame. That's in the review hall of fame. And all of you all made it possible. Let me give a shout out to Civil Music who made the dope intro songs for me. Civil Music Connect. You all can hit him up on Instagram. I am going to put his information in the description box uh, for my channel below. So if anybody wants to check it out, go ahead, hit this brother up, follow him, make sure that, you know, we all support each other and let's make it work. I just now noticed that I wasn't following him. I'm going to go ahead and follow you myself, man. There you go. I try not to have so much going on myself, but I do follow and support, you know people that's doing the right thing a few other people said they was gonna come through make a song this that and the other y'all on that bull y'all gotta handle business like effie you gotta come through what's up with them songs what i'm gonna do and i'm only gonna have this open for two more weeks so when power book four come out it's a wrap february 6th that's the last day actually that's one week so y'all got till February 6th to get it together. February 6th, one more week. Get those songs submitted on Instagram. Hit me up. And if you don't have it by February 6th, I don't know what to tell you. But what I will do for everybody that does get some songs put through the 20 second clips I'm going to play them and let the audience decide on Friday which ones they like alright but congrats to, to Civil Music Connect y'all hit him up on Instagram he got some other songs on there that's dope he's talking about some positive stuff and I appreciate you coming through in a timely manner with two songs that I really like and enjoy and I hope y'all hit him up if you interested in getting some songs made for your channel or whatever the case may be listening to his music or whatever the case so I appreciate you brother don't forget everybody to check out my website uh, jmorereviews.com and I will see all my members in discord in about five or ten minutes everybody else be safe out there in them streets and uh i will see y'all sunday night at 10 p.m and with that being said i'm up out of here thanks for watching and i'm gonna play my little new song on the way out
Thanks, everybody. Be safe. Deuces. Look, uh, look, it's J Mo, the very best of views. Tell them none can contest, we don't stress the views. Weekly commentary on the shows you can stream from sports to shoes. Reviews, we the best in the city. It's J Mo, reviews. Now get in tone. It's J Mo, reviews. Now get in tone. Get in tune, get in tune, get in tune. Look. Just know that we locked in on the scale from Uno to DS. We stock 10, leveling up weekly. Make sure you don't miss yours. Entertaining conversations. Come join the Discord from watching live with the fans. The cash giveaways, clocking hard hours. This year ain't minute made. We setting the tone so the standard is raised. The dopest content in the game. Yeah, we changing the stains. J Moore.